Hello scouts, it's Mr. Kugler. Got another pie iron treat here. This one takes a little extra step, but I think you're gonna find that it's well worth it and you're gonna find a delicious lunch uh, to be able to have around the campfire, uh, especially on a cold day or even a warm day. Uh, it is a chicken parm sandwich and it's gonna start with a breaded chicken patty, a couple slices of bread, a little bit of mozzarella cheese that we're gonna to add to this. And the thing that really makes it the simplest is this squeeze bottle of tomato sauce that comes complete with all the seasonings that you need. Don't need to bring any spices or anything and it's a great way to get a great lunch. We're gonna use a little bit of uh, nonstick uh, canola oil to be able to uh, spray the inside of these pie irons. These are cast iron pie irons that we're gonna be using today. Uh, just to make sure everything doesn't stick. Now, certainly you could use a, a uh, round pie iron. These are great, um, but I recognize the fact that most troops aren't gonna have a ton of pie irons. And if they're gonna have one, it's gonna be a square pie iron. And if we were to use this on a uh, round pie iron, we're gonna end up with a lot of bread that we're gonna end up cutting off uh, that we don't need to be doing and wasting. So uh, we're gonna use uh, this uh, square pie iron here. Now the trick for a chicken parm sandwich is certainly we could put everything together, put it right on the fire. But if you've used a pie iron before, you know that the outside of the bread is going to cook a lot faster than the inside of the sandwich. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna start with our pie iron and we're gonna heat up our chicken patty first. So I'm gonna get my two pie irons here. I've got a metal surface. This is one of my Dutch oven tables that I made, it's made out of a sheet pan. And I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna put inside my two pie irons, my chicken patty, which is already thawed. Now certainly, if it was still a little uh, cold from being frozen, you may have to start a little ahead of time. And on my fire here, I've got a bed of coals that I'm dragging out off to the side here. I don't want to be right on top of the fire. This is not something that I'm going to need to have on flames. Uh, that's just going to lead to disaster. So just like anything with the pie iron, I'm going to put it on some coals off to the side of the fire there that I've dragged out every couple sec, every 30 seconds or so, especially once the pie iron gets uh, preheated or that cast iron outside gets up to temperature, I'm going to take and I'm going to flip it over and just keep it um, from burning. So right now what I'm gonna do is let me bring that chicken patty uh, up to temperature, get it nice and warm on the inside and we'll finish assembling our chicken parm sandwich. So it's been a couple minutes here and I've been flipping this pie iron as I mentioned over. And what I'm looking for, uh, once that pie iron came up to temperature, cast iron, it's Rome uh, square uh, pie iron, is I'm looking to get the grease in that chicken patty uh, sizzling a little bit and start to get a little bit of char on the outside of that. And I, I think I have that right here. I've got a nice metal surface here so I don't damage anything. One of the reasons why I'm using this and you could see, uh, if you had smell of vision you'd be able to tell, but uh, that chicken patty is, is heated well and there's a little bit of grease there and it's gonna make this easy for us to do. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna start, I don't need to spray any more oil in here. There's plenty of grease and, and oil uh, from doing the chicken uh, patty in here. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put one slice of bread on top of my chicken patty. I'm gonna close this. I don't have to turn it or clamp it down, just close it. So now what I do is I have that chicken patty, be careful because this is hot now, I have that chicken patty sitting centered on the piece of bread here on the bottom. Try to keep it centered. I'm using a knife so I don't have to touch it with my hands and risk getting burned. And I've got some mozzarella cheese here I'm going to be ready to put on and uh, why don't I put the sauce on first. This is the squeeze bottle of sauce. I'm going to put a nice coating of sauce there. I would say that's a little more than a tablespoon. I may regret that maybe too much. 
And now I'm going to dump a little bit of mozzarella cheese on there. And I'm going to come back with my other piece of bread. And I'm going to lay that over the top. Carefully close it down. And I've got a little bit of bread sticking out there. So I'm going to take a knife. And I'm just going to clean off that crust just so I don't have charred uh, bread when I get going to eat it. And uh, I'm going to put this on the fire again on those coals. And remember, this time when I put it on, my pie iron is preheated. That inside is preheated, so this should go pretty quickly. And every 30 seconds or so, I'm going to take, I'm going to flip my pie iron over and keep checking it. Better to check it more often than not enough. Unlike your cast iron Dutch oven where you open it up and you lose a lot of heat, remember the inside of this pie iron is basically filled with that sandwich. Uh, so we don't have a lot of air space that we're worried about. And in no time, we have a nicely toasted chicken parm sandwich. The great thing about this chicken parm sandwich is not only that uh, it's going to be delicious, but also the fact that all the ingredients are on the inside of this pie uh, type sandwich, uh, almost like a hot pocket. So we'll dump it out. We're equally toasted there. And um, I'll be able to take and cut this sandwich right in half. My cheese is melted. Oh, look at that. And I know that my chicken patty is already hot. So seeing how fast that bread toasted up, you can imagine if I tried doing this uh, with a cold chicken patty, um, I would have had something that more resembled a, a charcoal briquette when I was done and still have a cold chicken patty in the inside. So here's a great chicken parm sandwich made with a Rome cast iron pie iron uh, over a fire. Took little or no time. Think about your patrol when you're cooking. Not everybody needs to have a pie iron. This is preheated. This is going to cook a lot faster for the next scout. You could have one of these for every two or three scouts and be able to have a nice, delicious, warm sandwich around the campfire, maybe at lunch on a campery. So think about different pie iron treats you can have. Think about expanding your menu choices and have a little fun out there um, around the campfire and, and certainly go out and enjoy this delicious chicken parm sandwich.